to do a flounce dress. This is a measurement. This is a measurement for the dress. Shoulder is 15, bust is 44, waist is 37, hip is 48. Then the, the shorter length is 37, while the longer length is uh, 47. That means our flounce length is 10. Shoulder is 15, that means uh, by two is seven and a half. Okay, this is my armpit line, this is my waistline, this is my hip line, and this is my length. But I added this half inch for shoulder seam allowance. So I have seven and a half here. I have to mark seven and a half here. Join it and curve. You can curve, remember you can curve with your curves. You can use your curves for the, for the armpit curve. Then bust is 44 and I add two inches. Though it stretches, but not much. 44, which is uh, 11 divided by four is 11 and I add two inches allowance, which is 13. Then waist, I have to do it 13 because I will do normal that on it. Then the hip is uh, 48, that, that is 12 by four is 12 plus two inches, it is 14. So it's here. here you since i did here 14 i have to do here 13. this is it i'm not cutting the neck now because i'm doing a mono strap here one shoulder will be normal and the other shoulder will be off and down added one inch throughout because it will have zipper at the back so let's cut so i want to sketch my dots you have to pay attention here because i'm doing a normal basic dart so glue your eyes and be attentive my underbust is uh, 15. That's the underbust from shoulder to underbust is 15. And this is the waistline from shoulder is 17. And this is the front, the hip line. I want to do the, that, the front that. So since here is my underbust, here is my middle bust 10. I want to re remember I'm doing the basic uh, that. I did, I marked this thing because I don't want my darts to come up to this thing. So I'll come down by one and a half. This is 10. You count one and a half. This is where my darts will start from. Then I mark four and a half. And I mark four and a half here. Four and a half here. And I like marking five here. I will now use my ruler to join it. Then my that here is, uh, I'll use one one quarter because I'll, I'll like it to have a very fine curve. You know the meaning of that? That is what gives shape to your dress. So everything is two and a half. You can see it on my tape. It's two and a half. Then from here, I go straight and join here. This is my underbust line. And I join here. And I join here. Here is straight. And I join here. And I join here. can see how beautiful that I'm trying to make it to come out very well because I will place it I'll face it to the other side and make it come out and make it stamp on the other side this is my front part I stamp it and make my work easier 
another one. You can see it's, it's the twin of this one. If I use my chalk and make it to come out very well. We are done with the front darts. Let's do the back darts before we go on with the, the flounce. That's my basic darts for back. I usually start at eight for a normal slim person, but I'm a little bit fat. So I'll start at nine, dipping it at 17, which is my waistline. And uh, this is my hip line. I'm not reaching here. I'll stop it at 24 before the biggest parts of my hip, like this. So my dart is four and a half plus one inch zipper is now five and a half. This is my dart. Then here, the ending parts, I did five and a half and I'll now do it six here. Then here, I'll do five and a half here on this line. So I have to join it with my ruler. I join, let's stamp it on the other side. Make sure that everything is equal. You can see the twin. Done with the dating. The next thing we do is uh, the flowers. We have to reduce our material, our fabric for the flowers. As you can see, this is the back of uh, the wrong side of my dress. It means this is left and this is right. So I want it to move from here to here like this. So what's the length I need? My flouse is 10. The highest length is uh, 30, is 47 and the, small, the shortest length is 37. Then my flouse length is uh, 10 inches. So what do I do? It means I've reduced the 10 inches for the longest length. So here I have to remove 10 inches for here, but it's not going to be 10 inches complete because I'll add the allowance for it. So I'll make it, this is my 10 and I'll remove half from the 10, that is nine and a half. Then from here, I now do my flounce. Okay, strap. I have to mark four inches by this side, the flower side, then take it down to this armpit, a straight line from the armpit to this place. For the one shoulder, I have to mark three and a half. I don't want it to go. Then maybe use my little curve and get it like this. I will now use this one to get a shoulder. 